What's up guys? I'm General Masher. Welcome to my next episode of Let's Talk. Now if you've been keeping track of my Let's Talk episodes, um, or at least my playlist of Let's Talk episodes that does not exist yet, you guys would know that this is the 10th episode of Let's Talk. Now, I've been sticking with Boom Beach um, throughout my um, 9 Let's Talk episodes, but for this 10th one, I'm finally breaking that trend that I was originally sticking with. So we are finally talking about Call of Duty and Fortnite. Now specifically I'm going to be talking about the Call of Duty game that is yet to be released as of now, which is um, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So as of now though, Black Ops 4 is not developed and is, or is not released though. It's, it's in development by um, Treyarch which has released the first three Call of Duty Black Ops games, and they've released World at War and Call of Duty 3. So, anyways, that's the background on Treyarch. So they've had an um, experience with Call of Duty, as you guys may already know, for those of you COD veterans out there. Now, um, you guys have probably been sticking with this um, massive game called Fortnite, which I've been sticking with too. I've been playing the game and having fun with that game as well as well, just like you guys. So, how could Treyarch possibly beat this huge, huge game called Fortnite? Um, let's talk about it. So, one thing that's big um, about the game is um, how it works, I guess. So, this game is, Fortnite I'm talking about, is um, a battle royale game. So, originally 100 players drop into the map and then they'll fight each other while the, um, play area is restricted, I guess you could call it. So, now that's pretty balanced because um, you don't want the game to go on forever and then the two finally clash at like um, after like three hours of being in the game. So you have to restrict it and you have to punish the people who are out of bounds. So, that's pretty fair. Now, um, Fortnite was actually not the first game to release this kind of a mechanic. Now, PUBG or Player Unknown's Battlegrounds was the first game to actually do it. So, the maximum amount of people you can have right now is 100. Now, um, in the past, we've had a maximum of 18 players in a server, which is um, from Call of Duty, yours truly. Although, there may have actually been more, because um, in Battlefield 1, which was released in 2016, Battlefield 1 had um, a maximum of 64 players in one server. Then, in one year later, you have Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, which beats it by a mil by a long shot, actually, with a whopping 100 players in one server. Oh my gosh! Wow, it is uh, it is amazing on how we made it to that kind of technology. So, if Call of Duty can, um, or if Treyarch actually can fit 100 players in one server, and then just like have a massive play area, or at least have like a a huge battlefield like mechanic or like a 50 v 50 and um, 100 players once again that may seem a little too big um, according to Treyarch's eyes because they've been sticking with the maximum 18 players in one multiplayer server so yeah Treyarch has been sticking with that you guys so if a Treyarch can if Epic Games which made Fortnite and um the pub, the company that made PUBG, which I currently don't know, if they can uh, make, if they can have like 100 players in a server, um, so can Treyarch. I mean, um, this kind of technology, wow, it amazes me on how we already have like 100 players in one server. Like, I know um, you guys may not seem real surprised, but I am amazed on how we improved from going from 64 players in a server to 100. Now, um. Treyarch um, could possibly beat Fortnite by doing this, but also through other methods too. Um, they could also uh, make their free games um, free on mobile, so it may not be as um, good. They, the graphics may not be as good on the mobile devices for Android and iOS uh, compared to the consoles and the PC, but if Treyarch can release it on mobile, that would be a big success. Because, um, because Activision, actually, I, yeah, Activision in general has been, like, releasing uh, some rather small Call of Duty games for the uh, mobile devices, and um, it kind of hurts, you know. Why can't we just have a massive Call of Duty game on one, on our, 
on our mobile devices. Sorry, I'm having trouble speaking today. Now, okay, so there's one reason, or there's one way, and then we have the second way if they can release it on mobile. The whole, and I, and I, I'm saying the whole thing, or the whole game, actually. The game as a whole, if they can release that on the mobile devices, then Black Ops 4 would be at a big success. Or would be facing a big success. Wow, I cannot talk today. Ugh. Okay, I finally got my head back together. Now, um, the third way Trey could do this is if when you're um, playing the mobile games, then uh, make it free because, um, and then just like have viable content such as like um, you can purchase clothing for your soldier or you can purchase like a weapon camo or a DLC pack. So um, make it that way, but just um, for the full game, just like release the non-DLC content um, for free for mobile devices. Um, of course, um, some people will have to pay money for the console games because um, that the consoles um, have really good graphics. So, graphics does play a big role. Also, please make the graphics better than Sledgehammer's and um, even DICE's graphics that were in Battlefield 1. And um, if Treyarch can even surpass PUBG's graphics, which are phenomenal on Xbox One especially, so, if Trey can beat that, then um, Black Ops 3 would have a massive success on consoles. So, there you guys have it. Um, I don't want to make the video too long. I mean, I could rant about how Black Ops 4 could beat Fortnite in um, for like three hours, but I don't want to do that. So, I'm just going to wrap the video up right here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have um, your own opinions, then please um, share them in the comment section. But other than that, if you liked my opinions, then of course hit that like button. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. And then hit the notification bell every time you want to get notified. And credit to Silver Gaming because this gameplay is actually not by me. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video though. Bye bye!